our motherland stands. The purpose of a nation is always to grow with prosperity and felicity. The word prosperity many of you know, but I am afraid you don't know very much about felicity. F-E-L-I-C-I-T-Y. Prosperity is a coordinate relating to our body and senses. Something good to see, good to hear, good to taste, good to touch, good to smell. Everything is prosperity there. In the same manner, an equal prosperity if you can think of in terms of the mind and the intelligence, the right word to be used is felicity. India is a country which has always been emphasizing Abhyudaya, prosperity on the one hand and Nishrayasa, felicity on the other. I am very sorry that this word felicity or Nishrayas never has a mention anywhere in any programs or activities, particularly in the sphere of education. We have not been able to evolve a national educational syllabus where the national values will be imparted, infused, instilled and taught right from the pre-kindergarten stage. And our national values are such that they have no bearing towards religion at all. How many times shall I say this? Our national values are absolutely different from, away from, disconnected from religion. In fact, in India, true Indians do not have a religion at all. The word religion came into the English dictionary much, much later. We only have a word called dharma, means righteousness. In other words, the ethics of life, the ethical conduct of every aspect of life. Even now the call and the crisis of India is lack of ethical administration. What is meant by administrative ethics, we are not aware of. Why don't we turn the pages of our own history and find out whether we were an ethical nation, whether we had ethics to govern the conduct, particularly the administration. It is interesting, it is compulsory to know all these things.